Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to go through a simple proof of why we take savings to be equal to investment in a closed economy. So I'm just going to start with the national income accounting identity, so Y, which is our output or expenditure, is equal to C, consumption, plus I, investment, plus G, which is government spending, plus X minus M, which is net exports. Of course, in a closed economy, there are no exports or imports, so X minus M just drops right out here and we're just left with Y is equal to C plus I plus G. So all these categories are expenditure categories. We can also take Y uh, to be equal to income. So this identity comes from the general identification of income with output and expenditure. I have done another video on that identification, so I'll link to it in the description below if you're interested. From the income perspective, we can ask ourselves, what do we do with our income in this closed economy? Well, we can consume it, that will be C. Uh, we can also save, that will be S. And here I'm going to note that this is private savings. Why I've done this will become clear in a little bit. Since we're working in an economy where there is a government, uh, some of our income will or might go to taxes as well. So that's T taxes. So here we have two expressions for Y and what we're going to do next is just set them equal to one another. So from our national income accounting identity, we have consumption plus investment plus government spending is equal to from the perspective of what we do with our income, where we can consume, save, or we give some to the government through tax. And you can see immediately here that consumption will cancel out on either side. And we're just left with I plus G is equal to S plus T. We can take away government spending from both sides and we get I, that's investment, is equal to private savings plus the tax revenue for the government minus government spending. Now the difference between T and G, that's the difference between the revenue that the government gets and how much they spend. So the difference is actually equal to public savings. If our tax revenue is greater than the government expenditure, there will be a government surplus, that's like positive savings. Uh, alternatively, if this becomes negative, so if government spending is larger than tax revenue, this will be negative and we get a government deficit. Regardless of the sign, the difference between the two variables is public savings. So we have private savings and public savings on the right hand side. And we should recognize here that the total savings in an economy is just equal to, well, the sum of private and public savings. It's sometimes called national savings. On the left-hand side, we have I, that's investment. So investment is equal to savings in a closed economy. And that's it for this video. I hope that it helped. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are having a good one.